Good morning everyone, Bloggy Poncho here. Today is March 13th. I don't know what I weigh. No one does anymore. We are here in Providence Canyon. And that's where we're gonna have to make the video today. Okay, so Poncho. Put your hands on that tree there. It's in the shade, but um yeah. it feels like a tree. Feels what temperature would you say? Ambient. Yeah, it's just the same as the ow. Ow! Oh! Oh, what are you doing, tree? <laughs> He's dripping on me. That's so gross. Is there a squirrel up there? What are you doing? Must be a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just, it just dropped a bunch of... Look at this! You turned the camera on and I got hit in the head with something. <laughs> what is this? It's Looks like it's pollen. Pollen stuff. That's great. <laughs> Should've hit in the head with allergies. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> you turn the camera on and the trees start dropping things on me. Anyway, yeah, so this tree feels the same as the air. It doesn't feel warm or cold or anything. Alright, now put your hands on this tree with the, the bark that's kind of peeling. Well, of course it's going to be warmer. It's in the sun. Alright, well, anyway. Oh my god. Actually, that's kind of cold. <laughs> yeah, see that's because this tree has a much... Oh, it's even colder on the back. Well, that would even be not in the sun. So. It's, that's because... Uh, the, the outer part of this tree, the part in front of the, the xylem and the phloem, is very, very thin compared to the other one. And so, you can feel the water coming from under the earth. You can feel the, the water being pulled up the tree. That's the cold, is from from its root system pulling up the water. Wow. Do you know what? what up so and up and up. This is a oak tree? Uh, maybe. It's a hardwood of some variety. Yeah, I used to know what this one was, but I've now I've forgotten. So, you know what this tree is called? This magic cold tree. Tell, tell me in the Yeah, there, there's several trees like that. Um, I believe birches will do that as well. It's just any tree with a really, really thin matrix. Or cam camera. I okay. like this tree because it looks like it's a camouflage tree. It looks like it's trying to hide from the other trees. Because it's got this sort of camo-looking pattern on it. This is probably the weirdest tree I've ever seen. Um, he's had some turns in his life, you know. Turning point here, turning <laughs> point here. This is just amazing that it just starts out going the wrong way here. You hear that? Branch just fell. Man, as soon as I turned the camera on, it starts falling on me. It's crazy. That was loud too. I heard it coming down. Anyway, so this is going down, and he's like, oh, I'm just not, I need to go this way. He's like, oh, forget that, I'm gonna go up. This is way better. He's sturdy, too. Lots of people try to carve their initials into a tree, but it's actually really not a good thing to do. Because, contrary to what may, people may suspect, the tree is not alive all the way through. The center heartwood of the tree is actually just wood. It's just there for structural support. It's dead. There's nothing going on, no cells are living, respiring or anything. Nothing. It's the outer ring of the tree, the cambrium and the xylem and the phloem and, and the cortex and the bark and everything. Or well, the bark, not really, but, but that part's alive. And that part's living and that part's growing and that part's expanding the tree and going up and... So when you carve your initials into a tree, you're cutting into its flesh. It doesn't have anything inside that it can do anything with, so you're just kind of like chopping it up. So that's why carving your initials into a tree is a bit. This public service announcement brought to you by Maple. So some of you guys might remember that I said I was going to be working for GM. Well, one of the perks of working for GM is that I get to see the new uh, design vehicles, like next year's model before it comes out. So uh, I got a little sneak peek for you guys here. So this here is going to be the 2014 GM piece of shit. Okay, we're starting to get to sell really well in uh, rural parts of the country because it's got uh, a lot of towing power. And really, you can just park it anywhere and just leave it as long as you want, and no one will ever want to steal it. State of the art security system. Best top of the line. Spared no expense. That was Providence Canyon, the little Grand Canyon of Georgia. Uh, that's all for today. See you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs>